Jalen, go ahead. I'm going to let you pick it up. Jawan Howard, my brother from another mother, who I played against yes. in high school when you guys came to Detroit. And our teams actually had a fight. True. The same Jawan Howard that we played in McDonald's <laughs> High School All-American together, and we rearranged the rooms so that we all could talk about doing something special in Ann Arbor. The same Jawan Howard that was the grown-up in the room that the world has never seen without a haircut or a crease in his pants. The same Jawan <laughs> Howard that had the level of respect that took me to shot time with him oh, every summer, okay? This is a guy that's now put himself in position, Greeny, to lead the University of Michigan program. He's disciplined, he's hardworking, it's all about his leadership. I wanna congratulate you as an alum, as a friend, as a Fab Five member. We're just here to support you, your vision. I love you and congratulations. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Yes, everything you said just gave me chills all, all through my body because, you know, that bond right there, that brotherhood, would never lose. We would never lose that. And I know how hard you've been working to try to make this day possible for me. Uh, you know how important it is to me and my family. You've seen it yesterday, uh, how emotional I got because of the fact that this is so special, a special day for not only myself and my family, but for all of us, man. So I just want to say I love you, Jay Rose. And go blue, brother. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll jump in quickly if I can. Joanna, I'd like to ask you the same question I asked Jalen the day that you were officially hired. And that is that for the longest time now, for 25 years, there has been a strained relationship between the university and the Fab Five. And obviously, the statement that is made by the school by hiring you, by bringing you back in in as significant a way as they do, that's the end of that. That's the end of that tension. So, so for you... For 25 years later, what does that mean to you? Well, it means a lot to me that first this university, President Mark, also Wade, Man excuse me, Ward Manuel, uh, has really take the confidence on and just say, you know what, um, I trust this man, we believe in him, and we just know he'll be the right coach to lead this program. So that meant a lot to me to say that, you know, I have the trust and the belief in this, organiza this organization, which I would say a program uh, that, you know, they know that I can do this job and I'm capable of doing this job. Uh, the relationship with the Fab Five is now coming back and this is one step. Jawan, for those that haven't closely followed your coaching career, you've really paid your dues on the, some of the best. Eric Sprolster's leadership, winning a championship as a player, also, Pat Riley and what he does with the Miami Heat organization. Can you let the people know what to anticipate as it relates to you being the leader in the face of the program on the floor and off the floor? Well, you, you said it best. I was fortunate enough to work for a championship organization like the Miami Heat, learning from a guy like Eric Spostra. And I say I'm from the Eric Spostra tree. Uh, it's been six years on, in his staff. Uh, absorbing all that great knowledge. Uh, he's one of the hardest working coaches. I, I think he doesn't get credit for it, but he's one of the best coaches in this league. Uh, Pat Riley, sitting in meetings, listening to him speak, uh, taking in all that knowledge, learning from him. Uh, David Fisdale, Keith Smart, uh, Dan Craig, uh, Chris Quinn, we all challenging each other to get better. So they've helped prepare me for this day. And now that I get a chance to be a head coach, I'm prepared for this, and I'm looking forward to the challenge. Juwan, I think a lot of us were moved when we saw how emotional you were at your news conference yesterday. I saw it all over social media. How would you put into words what that was? Why? Where did that emotion come from yesterday? Well, it came from what Jaylen mentioned earlier. Uh, he gave you my background. Growing up from the inner city of Chicago on the south side, a kid that has been counted out. Many thought that would never, ever make it on a collegiate level. But then go to a university like Michigan, one of the prestigious universities in the world, uh, to be able to get a degree here, to learn, to grow, to become a man. And when I left this university, I was able to accomplish my dream and goal, that's to play in the NBA. To play 19 years in the NBA, you know, that's not easy. You have to go through some adversity. Being the number one guy, then I had a role of being a two, number two guy, and then from there being a, a role player, then coming off the bench, and then having a suit on. I played a lot of different roles, had many different hats, 
But going through that taught me so much about being a tough-minded individual, uh, having that mental toughness, and just learning and growing. So then, now to have this moment after spending six years as an assistant coach, grinding, uh, being, starting in player development, and then more importantly, just have a selfless approach to just try to learn and have that growth mindset. And to get here, you know, yesterday was just an exciting and emotional time because my grandmother always wanted me to go to the University of Michigan. She died on the day that I signed my letter of intent to attend the University of Michigan. And then thinking back to my best friend, Lamont Juice Carter, who Jalen know very well, passed away. Uh, I, I just had all that thoughts going on in my head. And then that's why I said, you know, I got to let it go, let it out, and don't be embarrassed about it. So the world got a chance to see me, you know, a guy that's in t have emotional moments, uh, not afraid to show it, and more importantly, embraced it. Jawan, John Beeline did a terrific job of putting University of Michigan back on the map. And I know you have his blessing. I know you have Coach Fisher's blessing. Can you talk about their influence in your coaching over the last couple of years? Well, Coach Fisher, I got to start with him first. Uh, after I left CVS High School in Chicago, learning from a guy by the name of Dick Cook, you know, my track record started to become even stronger and my growth started to rise even higher because being able to learn from a guy like Coach Fisher, who you and I both know, uh, one of the best coaches, in my opinion, should be a Hall of Fame coach very soon, uh, a guy who's a Preach. basketball genius, and learning from him how to be, grow to become a young man, tr and him and Coach Fisher trusting me and you and others, uh, that moment right there has been special. 